This week, our Newsline 340 spotlight lit up on a mother and son team who have been working hard to stop the bleeding and start the healing in our community. News Director Fiona Stokes sat down for a chat with Kareem and Cheryl Francis. With violence seemingly spiraling out of control in our community, enter Stop the Bleeding Foundation, hoping to start the healing and make a difference. So tell us a little bit about how Stop the Bleeding was actually formed. When was Stop the Bleeding born? Was there a particular incident or event in the community that prompted you guys to get together and bring this about? The conception was when, um, I'm not sure if you remember when this young girl was killed in St. Thomas. Her name was Laquina and um, they had found her stuffed in a basket or something like that, and that touched me. She was only 12 years old. So at that point, I was trying to figure out what happened with her parents, that she, in this small community, could just disappear, and no one knows what happened to her or where she went or who she was with. And at the same time, uh, the reaction to her death uh, everyone was so touched by it, concerned, and it was like a moment in time where everyone came together to try to find ways to help our young people like that. Stop the Bleeding has been around for a couple of years now. Tell us about the type of reaction or community support that you've been seeing. Stop the Bleeding is out there, um, you know, partnering with a number of other organizations, um, you know, to, to bring about that hope or change, you know, so that kids, youth rather, um, and as well as adults, uh, you know, understand their worth, they, they understand and know that it can be different, it can be better. Stop the Bleeding is a nonprofit organization that was started back in 2007, May of 2007. And what prompted us to um, actually get involved in this project is we saw what was happening with our young people in terms of them hurting and killing each other. Uh, so the question was why and what is happening in the homes to get our young people to this point in their lives where they feel they have to actually get violent. So what we're doing is we're kind of like the watchdog for um, our children and families, trying to keep them focused on the way they're thinking, their mentality, keeping it positive uplifting their spirits, making them feel important and that they have a lot to contribute to society as well as we want them to be future leaders in this society. So we felt they can only build that confidence if someone is there for them, listening and talking to them and teaching them. With youth being the most impacted by the crime and violence, Stop the Bleeding organizers have turned to the VI's hottest entertainers to help get the message of love and togetherness across. I just want to say a message before I start. Every night I stay up wondering why the world can see that Jah ja is calling. All they do is think of war and hate. But them are the ones who don't lose feed them fate. We're not planning to solve the problems of the world overnight, but what we're hoping to do is to inspire them. I have to have faith. We're losing that. We, with the children them today ain't growing up with no kind of faith. I believe I am Mecca yourself and I just there. I have a mission. Seek it out. Know what it, know what it is and nourish it. There's no limitations for a young night to rule and to govern, build up our nation. There's no limit. Get a youth, occupy yourself, don't be stubborn. Get an education. We brought their artists that they love the most. We're talking about Pressure, Matt and Nile. We're talking about Verse, Rena Faith, uh, Elijah Vegas. You know, these are young artists that are Virgin Islanders in some way, shape, or form. And um, they're giving back. Tell us a little bit about the ultimate hope for Stop the Bleeding and the projects that you are doing. What is it that you really want to see at the end of this? My ultimate hope, at least for this year, as we're going into the new school year, is that we have a violence-free year. You know, I hope 
that kids really have a good experience at school. Um, and if not, for whatever reason, if they need somebody to talk to, I hope they know that they can call, you know, Stop the Bleeding. Uh, they can reach out to us via Facebook, uh, Stop the Bleeding Foundation, um, send us an email, something, and we can do, you know, whatever, whatever it is that we have the power to do, we will, we will assist, you know, whether that means, you know, getting other resources, other people involved, um, you know, so that's, that's my goal. Francis say they're very excited about the Believe song and the video that are in production, but they're most hopeful that the message of love in the community will start to spread.